this year, Budget Ghana undertook some citizen engagement exercises in some parts of the country as a part of a country-level tracking of public finance and budget literacy. In one of such engagements, the organization visited the London Beach, a fishing community in the Cape Coast municipality in the central region of Ghana, and dialogued with the local fisherfolk. Ray Fifi Inkum, the Budget Ghana Country Lead, engaged the people of the community on the national budget, intersecting it with the work of Budget Ghana in simplifying the colossal volume of the official budget statement into easy to assimilate infographic booklets to facilitate public finance literacy across every literacy span. <laughs> Yeah, the assembly man and Kasa and I there, yeah, the MP Kasa. Almost what to be there, you knew one or two things about the finances of the country. Obey the man, obey sit up over there. Over there, you're respectable because why you won't win. It's very briefly, you know, yeah, the young document, you are aware, like I said, the national budget. Ghana 2021 national budget. You're near radio station, you're TV station, you're in money there. They don't go around, they are educated among folk on Yen Na Iska and Oye Ghana for this. He also observed that it is the right of every citizen to be made privy to issues of public concern and likewise his responsibility to utilize that information to demand delivery, transparency and accountability. If you ask some of them questions now, who is there? You are here, close here. You have to ask a question. And now, the doors change, even though one of those kind of one, one of all power. So you now you boom, there is a hear voice. It's in photos, na videos, na zan so on here because on a little bit of a viral, na fix the country, na some na wa wa so so. Na wa sit up with me, but we no move, we move. Another day, what the day? Another what the day? Na wa yama. The country lead also had a walkthrough presentation on the contents of the budget and the corresponding allocations for every item. You can see the revenue that the government has, the expenditure, and then the different components of the different expenditure revenue that are assets. So I think that we, I believe is that when people have information, you can demand what is yours. The locals of London Beach also outlined some pertinent issues they wanted addressed, researched on and publicised. The most outstanding of them was the ongoing fisheries crisis, the consequence ban, the pending promised palliative packages from government and the toll on economic activity and their lives. <laughs> At the end of the engagements with Budget Ghana, the local leaders of the community expressed discontent regarding the hesitancy of the newly appointed district chief executive of the area to engage the locals in town hall meetings, as they believe this is duty. The engagement with the London Beach community was a facilitator of one of the organization's goals, which is to promote budget literacy, to ignite public demand for transparency and accountability from the government. It was also an assessment of the reality of the ongoing fishery saga the state of the budgetary allocations made to cushion the restrictions issued by the Ministry of Finance and the toll all of it is taking on our coastal communities. This once again is the Budget Ghana Stories, Perspectives from the Coastal Communities.